Hey, sup? I wanted to make a quick video today about happiness featuring my childhood blanket that I still sleep with. Don't tell anyone. Um, something I just wanted to say really quickly, sorry I'm holding my computer, is that this is my chapstick that I use and shout out to my friend Elise for getting it for me. Um, it's called Hurrah and it's raw vegan chapstick and it's awesome and I'm like not sponsored or anything. I just think it's really awesome and I don't think I don't think it's expensive either, but I would check it out. Um, anyway, so I wanted to talk today quickly about happiness because it's so important to be happy and it feels so good to be happy. And I spent way too many years not being happy and I'm definitely the happiest I've ever been right now. And ah, and it's so exciting and I just want to share it with people. So number one tip for being happy. It's not these aren't in any particular order. I'm just gonna say First tip for being happy then. Okay, first tip for being happy then. I have mango on my face. I sorry, I just ate lunch. I'm a disaster. Okay. Um is to treat your body well. I mean, obviously I'm going to say that. I think that what you're putting in your body and what you're nourishing yourselves with is extremely important because you have more, I've said this before, you have more emotional receptors in your gut than you do in your brain. So if your stomach's happy, you'll be happy and you'll be energized and you'll feel fulfilled. Number two, realize that everything that you need is already within yourself. So like how this manifests is like, you know, no car, no house, no vacation, no boyfriend, no girlfriend no grade, no job is going to make you happy. Like, there's always going to be a next thing. You have to find happiness within yourself. Like, right now, I'm, like, graduating in a week and a half, and I don't like school, and I've never liked school, but if I waited until saying, oh, like, I'll, gra I'll be graduating soon, so, like, I'll just do the things that make me happy then, like, no, because then there's always going to be a next thing. So, like, you, you have to make today the day. Like, today's the day. Like, make a change. Be happy. Smile. Like, that's another thing is, like, no one can take your smile away from you. Like, you own your smile until the day you die. Like, even if you're locked up in solitary in a jail cell, you can still smile. And remembering that you always have your smile and it's always an option for you is, like, super empowering. Um, tip number three. Let me see. I think I wrote them down. Hold on. Um, oh, okay. So, like, whenever I'm having a hard day or I'm stressed out or I have, like, a lot of homework or I just got a speeding ticket, so that kind of stressed me out, too, because I didn't pay it and then I got fined. But anyway, it sucks. But, like, when stuff like that happens, like, I could easily let it ruin my day and my month because I don't make that much money and it's a lot of money but that I have to pay, but whatever. But it's like remembering, I just look up at the sky and like whether it's day or night, it reminds you that there's something bigger and that there's like a divine order and just you're you're so connected with like the energy of the universe that like why, why let something so small and like materialistic bring you down, like bring your state of happiness down. There's no reason for that. Um, what else did I write down? I think that's it. I'm going to keep it short. I just really want this to be a reminder for people to smile today and to be happy and to laugh. Laughing is the best and you get a like free ab workout out of it. So just laugh and enjoy yourself and make today the best day of your life. I mean, I'm spending today, well, this morning I went to the farm and harvested lettuce, what up? But I'm spending the rest of my day in a library writing a paper, but I'm going to smile the whole way through it because there's no reason not to. And life is beautiful and soak up every second of it. And um, say goodbye to my, my blankie. I call her Banky. That's actually my sister's. Mine is even wor looks even worse than that, so I stole my sister's. Um, don't ever be embarrassed if you still sleep with your stuff. My sister's 23, and her and her husband still sleep with her giraffe, so... <laughs> Sorry, Rachel. <laughs> All right, guys. Have an amazing day and smile, and I'll see you later. Bye.